Welcome back everyone. In the last video, I have discussed how to do the login validation and how to save the access token and refresh token in mobile storage. Now, whenever we will try to access any protected route, then we need to pass the access token with the authorization header. In this video, I will discuss how to pass the access token with the authorization header. And if the access token is expired, then how to generate a new access token with the help of a refresh token. And this entire thing I will do with the help of DIO interceptor. Let us move to my API provider. Now here in this class, first of all, I will create the object of get storage. So the object of get storage is created. Now here I will create the constructor of my provider and inside this constructor I will use DIO object and here I will use DIO.interceptors.add and here I need to use interceptor wrapper. Now inside this interceptor wrapper it will take on a request which will take option and handler. Now I will declare this as async. Now inside this on request with the help of this options that is this one here I will use options dot headers and here I will specify the key as accept and I will specify its value as application JSON. Now let me put a semicolon here. Now I will declare a variable string. Let me give the variable name as token and with the help of this get storage, I will read get storage key dot access token means from the storage, I am retrieving the value of the token. Now I need to pass this token with the authorization header and to do that again here I will use options dot headers and now the key will be authorization and here I will use bearer space then dollar of token. So I am passing the token with the authorization header and after that here I will use return handler dot next and I will pass the options. Okay. Now this is for on request. This means with every request now we will pass the access token with the authorization header. Now here I will use on error. Now in on error it will take error and handler. I will declare this as a sync. Now first of all here I will check if error dot response dot status code if its status code is 401 this means we are getting a response as unauthorized this means the token is expired then what I will do is that I need to generate a new access token by using the refresh token so here I am declaring a variable final new access token equals to await and here I am writing a refresh token. This is a method which I will create later on. Now here I will check if new access token is not equals to null then I will use dio dot options dot headers actually I need to use this one so I will copy this paste it here and instead of token now it will be new access token so I have added the newly generated access token with the authorization header correct and now here I will return handler dot resolve await 
dio dot fetch error dot request options so again the request will be sent with this authorization header after that here i need to return handler dot next and i need to pass error that's it now i need to create this refresh token method so here i am creating a method having the return type as future of string this and the method name will be refresh token as i have written here let me declare this as async and here i will use try catch now inside the try block first of all i will write final refresh token this means i am retrieving the value of the refresh token which is stored inside the get storage so get storage dot read get storage key dot refresh token so we have retrieved the refresh token from the mobile storage or from the get storage now final response equals to await then i will use dio dot post now here i need to pass the name so if you remember that while creating the api i have given the name as refresh hyphen token so i need to use this so let me copy this and paste it here and here i need to pass the data what data it needs it needs a, a refresh token so from here i need to pass data the key name will be a refresh token and its value will be a refresh token which has been stored from the get storage and here i am declaring another variable final new access token is equals to response dot data and after that the key name was access token if you can see here the api which i have created once the new access token is generated at that time this access token will be sent by the server so the key name is access token so the newly generated access token is stored inside the new access token variable now what i will do i will save this new access token to the get storage so get storage dot right now the key name will be get storage key dot access token and the new value of access token that is new access token and now i will return the new access token which is generated now while refreshing the to token if certain error occurs suppose the refresh token is also expired at that time what we need to do we need to redirect the user to the login screen in that case first of all i will clear the get storage so get storage dot erase we need to use this method and we need to redirect the user to the login screen and to do that here i will write get dot get dot of all named then i will redirect it to roots dot roots dot login okay and at last i will pass return null 
that's it this is how we can pass the access token with the authorization header and if the access token is expired then how we can refresh the token and we can generate a new access token with the help of refresh token now in the next video i will show you how to access a protected route by using this dio interceptor thank you so much for watching